How's it going guys? So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this really cool text effect. I've been working a lot with the text tool and trying to see how good it is. So there'll probably be a couple more text tutorials coming. Now you can get this exact project file along with a bunch of other project files from tutorials on my Patreon on the $2 tier. But if you wanna to go to the next level tier, you get a bunch of cool stuff. You get two exclusive tutorials a month. You get exclusive live streams. You get project files from different experiments, including ones like this and the other text experiments. Um, I also talk about client work when I do have client work and different things like that. Um, um, and you get 10 monthly procedural materials. I just released the cloth brush tutorial. I just released also two text tutorials this month. So if you wanna check out all that, everything I've released on Patreon is available now. You can check that out in the description. Now let's get into how to make this. All right, so we're gonna start with a new general file here. Now hit Shift A, just like everything, and we're gonna go straight into the text tool, boom. Now, here it is, we can hit tab, um, hold on, hit the period key to go to the zoom it in, hit tab, and you can backspace, T-E-X-T, -E I like all caps. Now, you have this, uh, but you can see how it's sort of typing in that direction. For me, I like everything to be centered out, so you can click on the text, little A here, click on paragraph, and then go to center, and center, and so now when you type things, it types out through the center, which is nice. Um, and also your axis point, origin point, is chilling right there too. Now, what we're gonna do here is go here and get a font. Um, you can go through your directory of fonts or you can go and install one and get that. Um, I mean, you don't have to install it. You just have it on your desktop or whatever and click on that font file for me. I'm a big fan of this really cool, weird looking font, so we're gonna go with it. Now, Click on geometry and we're going to extrude it. We don't actually need to bevel this one, but we're gonna extrude it pretty long. Uh, the reason why is so we can get that really cool fade off effect. And then I'm just gonna bring him back down. So now what we're gonna do is get a plane. So we're gonna get a plane and just cover up this. And then I want the glass to be just barely on the other side of the text. Now this is going to be glass. That's kind of what creates the effect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift D and get this plane back here and make it really big. And that's gonna be how we actually light the scene. So let's go ahead and get in a camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the tilde key. It's right above the tab key for me and I'm hit top. So now we can actually see what's going on. I'm gonna make sure, yes, we are in the right format. So shift A and I'm gonna get my camera. Control Alt Zero, snap it to view. And then I'm gonna click this little wireframe to see is my text in frame in shot the way I want it to be, which I think it is for now. So let's go ahead and start making some of our materials. We're gonna get our glass first. So click on the little icon here, click new, and we're gonna go here to a little bit of roughness because roughness is gonna, what it, is gonna be what kind of makes that effect. We're gonna go here to transmission, makes it glass. We're gonna take this guy here, click new, we're gonna go all the way to black on the base color and then our specular, we're gonna bring all the way down to zero so it's actually not reflecting any light and we get this black text and that's what we want. Click on this plane here, click new. On principle, we're gonna go here to emission, keep it white and just brighten it up a little bit. And so now we have that. This is cycle specific, it's not gonna work in Eevee. So we're gonna go here and switch here to the cycles render engine and you can use GPU if you'd like. Um, now we're gonna go. So here we go, we have our text effect working pretty well. I'm gonna bring my camera in a little bit. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit G middle click and then kind of zoom in on my camera. And now we have our really cool text effect working in our favor. Now you might say, hey, why don't we use depth of field instead of um, using glass? Because if you use depth of field, what's gonna happen is if we take off this glass, you have this black text and depth of field isn't gonna actually make the light kind of scatter around. The plane actually allows this text to be legible and you get this really cool effect. Um, Cause I, I did try depth of field, didn't really work in my favor. So now we have this and you go, of course you can play with your plane to see, well making it brighter, have a better effect, a little bit, now you can play with that. Also, you can really pick whatever color you want. It's really cool in that way. For me, I like white because we, we're gonna do something really cool in compositing and it makes a really cool color. So now we have this. I'm gonna go ahead and just go here and give myself 200 on the sample count. So now we're gonna go hit render and render image and we're gonna switch over to the compositor once this finishes rendering. 
Of course, this there's some noise here. For me, I actually like the noise, so I'm gonna take off the denoising. I already have some compositing set up. So you're gonna have a composite node. You're gonna drag your image into the composite node if it's not already there. You're gonna get a viewer node, Shift A, Search, Viewer, and then plug the image into the viewer. And what I like to do is hit Shift, right click, and then join them together like that. So every node goes here, goes straight into the composite and the viewer, which is super important. Now, the really cool effect I added was the lens distortion node. Lens distortion, pop it there, and then click dispersion, and look at that, we get this really cool effect. And then I like to really exaggerate the dispersion to be something cool. And if we go here to rendering, we have this nice effect. Now, I don't like it to be pure white. In fact, I did say I want it to be white but actually having a little bit of blue will really take this a long ways to be an interesting, nice, and cool render. So we're just gonna watch this render real quick, and then you'll see the effect plug through. And if you don't like the amount of noise, of course, just increase your sample count. I like the noise, I think it's a really cool effect, but this is how you make this text effect. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was really cool and fun, and thank you for watching.